Hey, it's Adam from Edge. I'm back in the studio. Today I want to talk about deployment. We've talked about AppCompat. We've talked about tools to make your apps run. Now let's talk about how to get the operating system out there. To do that, I've got my colleague Joey by invite in the studio this time. I'm not crashing your studio. Not no. crashing your big party. All right. Bottom line deployment for me. It's expensive. I don't want to try to deal with touching all my machines. I'm just going to wait till I buy new machines and get Windows 7 on them then. Okay, so let's address that second component to that. I'm okay. just going to wait first. Um, because I think that might address the, the first item as well. So a lot of IT organizations are probably making certain decisions around costs. Um, and a lot of times we don't upgrade our systems until we buy new ones, mm -hmm. right? That's a very similar thing. And some organizations can choose to go that route. I'm going to suggest if you're running Windows XP, you really should start considering moving to Windows 7 sooner rather than later because of the performance improvements, because of the security improvements that we have. Um, already talked about all over the place about Windows 7. Manageability, that's a huge thing for me coming from, I used to manage a ton of machines. And it's, it, Windows 7 is, is definitely more manageable. Okay. To address your first question about it being expensive, you know, a lot of folks, they already have their deployment ways, right? Mm -hmm. They're not going to just go with whatever was pre-installed in the machine. Um, they're going to pull that off and they're going to put down their own image with their own applications. Okay. Um, so I think there's kind of a misnomer there that it's, it's cheaper if I wait. That's, that's really not the case here. Um, if you've got your tools, great. If you're running System Center or you have third-party tools that you're already using for deployment, we're going to support those tools. Okay. But if you don't have them, we've got some free stuff. Yeah. Okay. Tell me that story then. I, I want to do this on the stuff. cheap. Free is my favorite price. Yeah, absolutely, especially if you're an IT guy, right? Yes. Because they're not coming and backing up the Brinks truck anymore. No. They're taking money from you. All right. So, okay. So you've sold me on why I need to deploy it now. Tell me how I can do it. Okay. There's a couple of different options. So let's start at let's get the operating system ready. Okay. Um, you know, in, in previous versions of, of Windows, there's, there's been tools to kind of help you out with this, but they, they were kind of scattered about. Mm -hmm. We brought them a little. We brought them together with the with the BDD or the the business desktop deployment kit that, that came that. out. Yeah. Um, we've actually enhanced that even more, and it's now called the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit (MDT). Okay. And there's a new version of that available out. Connect.microsoft.com. You can grab the beta version. Here's why I love MDT. I, I'm the kind of guy that I don't want to have to go muck around finding stuff located all over the internet. Uh, are all over on different DVDs and CDs, everything else. I want one place to go. And I don't want to read 100 pages of white papers to figure out how to do something. No, I, yeah, totally hear you there. But if you do, we've also put those 100 pages of documentation in the MDT. That's, in fact, that's the first place that you start. So you start off, you've got to quit getting started. Here are the few things that you absolutely need to know. Okay. And then if you want more information and more documentation, it's right in the toolkit. So if you run across an issue and you just need to dive a little bit deeper in that one issue, you can do that. Okay. The other, so, oops, sorry. I was going to say, so what's it going to help me do? It's going to help me what? Configure the unattended install for my operating system? Absolutely. Okay. Wizard-based, right? It's great because there's prerequisites that you have to have in order to do some of these installations. You need the automated installation toolkit. You need these things. It's going to go through and not only list out all the prerequisites and what the status is on your machine. If you don't have one of those pieces, you can click the link and it'll go ahead and go out and run the install. Okay. And again, this is all free stuff. I'm not paying for anything nope, to do this. Absolutely. Okay. And right now, betaconnect.microsoft.com, but when it's released, it's publicly available Okay. Uh, just to download. Next PC you have, you're going to go in and select which operating system you're going to install. Right. So am I going to install a 32-bit version or am I going to install a 64-bit version of the operating okay. system? And you can do that. Then you can choose all the applications that you're going to want to install. And there's a great comment on one of your videos when we walk through the MTT kit mm -hmm. that says, the hardest thing about doing this, because it's all wizard-driven, is just finding all of those little unintended installation switches. Okay, for my application. Sure. To summer slash S, summer slash Q. Yeah, or whatever. Wyatt or, or whatever right. it is. Sure. But once you find those, you're literally walking through a wizard. Here's the location of the installation. Here's the switch option that you need, and it's going to kind of package it all up. You can include drivers in there, any additional drivers that you may need. It's going to package it up into one nice little package, and then once I have that, I have several different options that I can use to go out and do this. Okay. One of the things that you've demonstrated is this USB key, mm -hmm. right? I can build that USB key and go run it around on my desktops. Maybe I have an executive that I need to spend a lot of time. He's got White data gloves. all over the place, right? right? Mm -hmm. And that's the one dude I don't want to mess up his migration on, mm -hmm. right? I can go to his desktop. I can copy down all the files that I need to run this in unattended installation. I can migrate all of his user data right from within the tool. 
using the same package that I've already created. It's really, really, really powerful stuff. And I'm not going out and building, oh, I got to build this for this person and this for this person and this for this person. I go in, set up the M, uh, in the MDT, and then from that point, once I start running the light touch installation, that's what we call light touch, I can choose all the various options that I need and I can move on from there. Okay. And it's free. And that includes all the user state migrations so we can move all their files. And Migrate all of their data, everything else, yeah. Okay, so you mentioned being able to install from a USB key and mm -hmm. making that kind of media. I've got a bunch of machines. I want to just do an install over the network. Tell me what's available to make it So we happen. still have image-based installation, which kind of came about. We've got a... The WDS, which is the Windows Deployment Services, came about okay. in Windows Server 2008. Okay. Allows you to do, you know, your standard image-based deployment. Um, you can multicast it. In Server 2008 R2, the next version of, of the server operating system, we've actually enhanced WDS. We've actually um, enhanced the performance, particularly around multicasting. Um, where before, you know, if I've got a bunch of machines I'm imaging out to and one starts to lag behind, mm -hmm. that kind of drags everybody down. Right. Uh, we have the ability now to kind of prevent that from happening is where we can kind of, oh, let's, let's throttle it down for, the, for this, this, this client over here, but let's keep everybody else running it that same. And it's free. It's literally adding the role and walking through a wizard. It's very, very simple to, to get going. Okay, so, so I can do network installs with WDS, and sure. I don't have to pay anything for that. And that includes a multicast, blast this image to this series of mm -hmm. machines. And I've got, you mentioned the deployment toolkit. Mm -hmm. So now I can very easily put together that unattended install. Sure. Um, you're making this sound a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. It, you know, it absolutely is. I don't, I don't want to discount it, right? There's a lot of work that goes into, you know, when we start building our images and when we start as, as IT guys, making sure that we're, we're doing the migration the way that we should. We're just giving you the tools to allow you to do that. If you work in an enterprise or, or a small business and you don't have the big bucks to go out and, and, and buy the various tools that are out there, we're giving you an option to enable you. That's what we're really doing. One central place enabling you to, to be able to do this. Okay. You made this a lot clearer for me, Joey. Thanks. Cool. No problem, Adam.